sponsored by the Grand Rapids Public Museum's The Nature of Color exhibit. All right, so the question this morning, Amber's going to give us the answer to, but can you get a cold from being out in the cold? Now, as many West Michigan families prepare for some potential snow days here in the near future, you might be wondering about this. Amber rejoins us in studio to explain the answer, and here's why. Amber? Hey, good morning, guys. Well, growing up, we were told through these cold winter months to bundle up, to not go outside with wet hair, or even just stay inside altogether to avoid catching a cold. But... How much truth is there to that age old advice? I sat down with a local family doctor to get the answer. Take a listen. You've likely heard that cold weather can leave you feeling under the weather, but that isn't exactly true. It's a belief that's been passed down from generation to generation, one that's not a fact, but a long-standing myth. Um, the common cold's caused by viruses. It's not caused by the cold weather. Dr. Tristan Worthington, a family medicine physician at the University of Michigan Healthwest, has heard this misconception before and says that it's been around for a very long time. It wasn't until like the 1950s that we even knew that viruses were a thing that could cause illness. The associations that people had back then were like, oh, it's cold outside, people are getting sick more often, it's probably the cold that's causing it. It's not really the case. So if cold isn't the culprit, why do we see the common cold and other illnesses become so prevalent around this time of year? The cold weather can certainly make you more prone to kind of catching those viruses in a, a few different ways. Dr. Worthington highlighted two main ways that the cold can contribute to getting sick. The first is nothing to sneeze at. We have all this dry air in the wintertime, so when the air is cold, we got less humidity in the air. Um, it can also cause some uh, issues like actually like in the nose and some of your mucous membranes. It can cause uh, some breakdown of that barrier to make it more likely that you're going to be able to catch those uh, viruses as well. The second way that cold weather can make us more susceptible to sickness has less to do with the cold itself and more to do with how we react to the cold. People kind of being inside a little bit more versus being outside in general can kind of have uh, a little bit more transmission that way. We usually see a pretty big peak around the holidays just because people are traveling a lot more, uh, being a lot more interactive with their friends and family, and getting a lot more exposures to all those things, unfortunately. There have also been studies suggesting that it's not just the chilly weather that makes the common cold so common this time of year, but also the shorter days and lack of sunlight. Uh, we do know that vitamin D can be an important part of the immune system and the immune response. Uh, so it would kind of make sense that if we're not getting enough sun exposure, that could potentially increase your risk for kind of getting colds and stuff a little bit more frequently. So what can we do to stay healthy? Dr. Worthington recommends washing your hands, wiping down surfaces, and masking up to prevent the spread of illness. It's also important to take care of yourself by sleeping and eating well to keep your body and immune system as healthy as possible. Well, Dr. Worthington also says that his office has seen a lot of traffic over the past few months with more viruses going around. If you've been exposed to a virus and feel yourself coming down with a cold, it's recommended that you get plenty of rest and stay hydrated. If you're sick for longer than a week, have a fever or shortness of breath, it might be time to consider checking in with your primary care provider. Sam.